Do you have any uh, specific examples from on the ground, um, you know, uh, working at A2CX um, that highlight that need for inventory accuracy or some of the challenges that come from not having the complete picture and then creating a solution? Yeah, well, let's start with the challenges. Challenges are obvious, you know, so if, if the, if the database is not accurate, you could have the part, yet it's in the wrong address. When a counter person goes to look for the part, you don't, you don't find it. So the assumption is that it's not there because you don't have a huge amount of confidence in your database accuracy in the first part because you've been through this every day of your life. And what, what happens is one of two things, either you lose the sale or, or almost as bad, um, you buy it down the street, which you pay a premium for, and the technician is now either idle for that 30 minutes or even worse, they have to pull the vehicle out and pull another vehicle in. And that's in the dealership world. In the smaller environments, you know, they don't have as many bays or lifts as, as the large dealerships do, so that becomes even more, more so a problem. And, and the, probably a loose translation would be for an average size dealership with, with let's say $600,000 worth of, of inventory, every point that you lose of database accuracy is probably worth about $5,000 worth of gross out of the service department of parts and labor value combined. So if, if you're at 99% you slip to 98%, that's one thing. If you're at 80%, that you're leaving tons on the table. 